Hello, fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Thank you for tuning into my channel and being here with me today. We are going to be looking at uh, your person. When will they commit uh, and will they commit? So this is an energy you've been dealing with um, maybe recently or for a while now. And you want to see, are they going to commit? What needs to happen in order for the commitment stage um, to proceed to the commitment stage? should say. Um, so we're going to look at that today and see what's going on there. Um, when and will they commit? Um, if you are after a private reading with me, please email me. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Otherwise, let's jump into this and see what's going on with this person. When and will they commit? Okay, Leo energies reverse. Okay, I, I feel like commitment is is um is happening. I feel like it's happening very soon. I'm getting this is an energy of commitment that you've been waiting for for a long time here, fire signs. So what I get straight away is like this big breakthrough, but it's been a long time coming. So this is why I feel like it's someone that you have been dealing with for quite some time. It's an energy or a person or a connection that's been in your life for either a very long time or what feels like an eternity. We've got Leo, Pisces, Aries energy, a little bit of Cancer here too. So you might be dealing with one of those signs or this breakthrough, this commitment is happening during these seasons. The Fool is reversed, the Hangman is reversed. So I feel like someone is done learning the lessons or someone is done teaching. So I'm actually getting that there's been a lot of heartbreak and there's been a lot of like lessons you've had to learn through this person. And there's been times, fire signs, you've sort of been asking yourself, like, why with this person? I didn't want to learn the lessons with this person. I wanted this to be it. And I feel for a lot of you, it like there is a massive comeback. I think there is a resurrection of a relationship. Um, someone's about to fight for you and you're going to see all the hard lessons you've been through with this person, all the drama all the emotional stuff that you've been through with them is actually, it's all going to pay off because success is in the cards here for you. So I'm getting a sense that someone is about to sort of show up and I reckon they want to make things official. I'm seeing an invitation for you to like meet someone's friends or family um, or for like you guys to be official, like maybe through social media um, you know, maybe through the online realm, like this is sort of, yeah, making it official and letting the world know that the two of you are an item, that you're together. You're his queen, he's your king. Like this is, this is nice. I feel like it's the breakthrough you've been waiting for. Um, okay, I feel like there might, might have been trust issues or jealousy issues in the connection. Queen of Wands, she's reversed though. I think this is a good sign because it's showing that, um, Someone needs to get over their jealousy issues or someone is getting over their jealousy issues. And I feel like they were a huge problem in this connection. Whether you're aware of it or not, they were. And I feel like this is, you're moving out of that stage. Um, maybe some immaturity here, maybe some trust issues, maybe some jealousy, but we all we all know where that comes from. That can come from that insecurity, uh, insecurities that we have. So I reckon someone's sort of dealing with that. They're sort of growing as a person um, or they're waiting for you to sort of get over that stage. And I think you are um, fire signs. You're not, you're not attaching as much emotion to it or you're not, you know, overreacting to certain things. And this is what this person is really enjoying to enjoying seeing about you um, as this relationship moves forward. Um, I get that there might have been an ultimatum that you've put forward to them, like, and I think it's worked. I think it's made them, make, it's, it's made them a little bit scared, a little bit shaking in their boots that they may lose you, that you may give yourself to another person and then they'll lose a good thing. So it's made them a bit like, they used to be the fool about it. They were more like blase, like, yeah, they'll be back. It's okay. Everything's all hunky-dory. Now they care more. The fool is reversed. So it's showing me they have more awareness than they did before. And in having this awareness, it's making them wanting to commit more and more to you. Um, I don't know if a commitment is going to take place on like a, during a trip or a holiday, but I'm seeing you actually going somewhere else and then either talking about commitment or making things official over there. So 
like I said, that could happen Pisces, Aries, Cancer, or Leo seasons, and that's when they're sort of going to prove that to you. But I feel like it isn't either some sort of foreign environment, so I wouldn't be surprised if they take you on holiday, make things official there. Um, they take you overseas to meet their family or friends. Like, they'll obviously want to do something more serious um, between the both of you. And that'll be their way, yeah, of making things official and showing showing everyone um, how much you how much you really mean to them, essentially. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. King of Cups, Pisces energy reversed. Someone's over the back and forth it's like you might have been on and off with this person before fire signs but they don't want that anymore they're wanting more but i feel like you there's there's a person here who feels like you haven't entirely opened yourself up to them emotionally so maybe they've been sort of the hangman's reversed so <clears throat> i get that there's someone here that has waited for you to tell them that you love them that you care for them they might have this more emotional side or maybe they just need to hear words of love words of comfort and words of reassurance and that's what they're waiting on they're sort of they've been hoping you'll come around and say those things to them so they can be like okay this person really does love me or you know this fire sign is really opening themselves up they're making they want to see you vulnerable essentially um <clears throat> yeah they want to see you vulnerable and that's what's going to make them fall for you even more. I think they maybe haven't seen that side to you. Or maybe they're wanting you to fight for them. They want you to come by. You're the, you're the, the, the knight that's coming to save them. I'm sorry, I have a tickle in my throat. <coughs> maybe they're waiting for you to show up and you to be this six of ones and make things official and, you know, Tell them you love them. Tell them you miss them. Tell them you need them in your life. Be vulnerable with them. I know it's a scary place to be at, but that's the risk we take for love. If we don't take that risk at all, we risk not having love. And you need to think about that. Fire signs. <clears throat> it's a softer part they want to see to you. And I'm telling you, that's when the commitment's going to take place. I am going to leave it there though, so thank you everyone for watching. It does mean a lot. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you are after a private reading, please email me. Um, and don't forget to sign up for membership as well. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very, very soon. So thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.